Hello and welcome to the Tarkus Zone. Thank you for joining me. Today we're in my dining room, so I apologize in advance for the echoing in this room, but I wanted to talk about the blades that Ego sent me. These are the replacement blades that I had asked for a warranty replacement. Now, if you've been following my channel, I had some issues with folding of the grass and chipping of the blade, and I thought I got a bad set of blades. So when I contacted them, that took some time, longer than I would hope. I mean, they, they made it right. Here they are. I mean, they sent them. You know, it just took longer than anticipated because when I first talked to the first rep, that rep said, everything's set, don't worry about it. They're on their way five to 10 days. Well, five to 10 days later, I went back onto the Ego app and said, look, I haven't gotten my blades yet. Then I got an email saying, you need to call us and we need you to talk to a supervisor to give more information went back to the app and said, look, what more information do you need? I've produced two videos on it. I've given you the link. Two minutes later, five minutes later, I'd say, I get an email saying your blades have been shipped. <laughs> so it took a little bit of effort. I wouldn't say, I mean, I've dealt with companies in the past where I went months and months and months. I mean, we're maybe looking at 28 days from beginning to when I reported the issue to them being here at my house today, 28 days. So hopefully they'll get better at that. But let's talk about the blade. And this is where I think my misunderstanding on how these blades are designed is, is I don't know if it's the cheap blades that are currently on the tractor or their design. We're gonna talk about that. Because when I reported the problem, I uh, was like, geez, this thing's folding the grass. It's not, they're not really cutting. So these are new. On one side, it says this side faces the grass. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put that here and then we're gonna grab the other one. Same thing as their instructions. That would be how they would sit on the tractor. And when they're turning, they would come in contact at this maybe closer, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been that deep under my tractor. We're gonna do that in the next video when I put these on the tractor. But what I wanted to point out, and again, it comes down to that folding issue that I had. This blade here from this point to here is not sharp, it's dull. This is sharp. So what I'm thinking is what I'm now, now that I know how the tractor's performed, I'm thinking it's the design. When I had my John Deere, my blades were straight. There was a set long time ago on my second tractor where I did get a little curvature, but it was sharp. It was the same sharpness from here all the way to here. I actually even went further. I, am, I remember sharpening them when I had to resharpen them close to where they connected. So this section from here to here has no cutting edge at all, which normally this is a shorter span. But then you get this ridiculousness from here, it's got this curvature that's not at all sharp to sharpness. And I'm thinking they've done it this way because if you look at how they would turn, I think they've done this and to make it aerodynamic so it's less wear on the motors. I think that's why we're seeing this curvature but this is where I'm getting the folding of the grass. I know it because that's not sharp. I mean, because if this is the correct design of their blades, then in my opinion, this should be sharp all the way here, even though it's raised. So you'd have an uneven cut. I mean, that's the other thing I'm kind of thinking about is I have seen where I've had to go over something a couple times and I'm like, there's a three inch gap where I'm not getting an even cut. Well, that explains it right there. It's this dull side is raised and the actual sharp side is up there. So I'm thinking what they've done here is you, they say you've got a 42 inch cut, but I think what they're really only cutting is this much of the grass, folding this much of the grass, you're getting some cut here at the ends. So I'm thinking that's why I'm having to do a lot of re-mowing over the area because it's just not giving me the wide 42 inch cut like my John Deere did. See my John Deere, 
the blades, like I said, were sharp from here all the way to here, and it was a straight blade. Same thing here to here. So I don't know. I mean, maybe they're thinking that this will cut the grass. It's dull. I mean, it's just dull, dull, dull. And when I was looking at my current blades on the track and I said, look, I get underneath there and I feel dullness where I think it should be sharpened, I was wrong. It is their design choice of the, of the blades. Now, let me summarize. I'm gonna put these on so you guys can see a review, uh, a review on how to put these on the tractor. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna see how they perform, but my guess is they're gonna perform the same way my current one does. But I would have to say these feel a little bit not as malleable as the ones I currently have that have the nicks. So I think quality wise, I think these are better. I mean, I'm, I'm gaining that because these feel actually, you know, somewhat uh, firm and good. I mean, the ones I currently have, I mean, they got chips all the way up into here, like gaps missing. I, don't, I guess we'll put these through their paces and we'll see if we get the same. But my thoughts are here, folks, is you're getting, a, you're, you're getting what you're getting. These are designed the way they are uh, for the fact that they want you to uh, have the thing zing around with the less amount of wear or effort on the motor. And they've made it somewhat aerodynamic for it to do that, to give it that support so you're not burning out the motors. But in doing that, they've compromised the blade. They've compromised your cutting area, right? So, I mean, they were nice. They sent, it, sent me these. I appreciate it. Let's go forward. I will have to say though, just to button this up is my, the tractor is cutting the grass now. It's just cutting it only will cut it at the highest speed, the, the, you know, the highest um, blade speed. And it is doing the job. And yes, I have to go back and cut some, some areas that are kind of sitting up because they've been bent over. But overall, I'm still happy with it. So maybe they could fix out this design thing, or maybe I am just not an engineer, and I'm not gonna admit that I am, that I'm just misunderstanding how this works. But I've been mowing my grass here in Grand Isle for 27 years. I've had four different tractors, and I'll tell you what, I've seen the blade on all those tractors. These are definitely designed differently. All right, well, thank you for joining me, and this has been the Tarkus Zone.